Welcome back to my channel everybody. I hope you're excited to do this autumn landscape with me today. We're going to be working on a 16 by 20 white primed canvas with acrylic gesso. I'm going to list all the colors and brushes in the description below. Let's get started. So I'm going to begin with this three inch chalk brush and I'm going to take a little bit of metallic gold. This is by Arteza. I'm also going to use some of this neon iridescent orange. So I'm going to just squeeze it out right onto my brush and let's start. I love this color. So I'm going to spread this all around. Okay, again, I'm just going to squeeze it out right onto my brush and I'm going to start going sliding my brush back and forth down here at the bottom. So there's going to be this path or this little road in here. So that's why I'm beginning to come in with these lines. And then I'm just going to start tapping lightly. So I'm pushing into that wet orange paint. And smaller and smaller. Just from here to here. And then it's just going to be really glowy in here, in the center. Really nice and bright, warm light, soft misty glow, and then our beautiful big maple trees on either side going all the way up past the canvas and you'll see some leaves and some branches in here. Okay, so I'm gonna wash that brush off and I'm gonna switch over to one of my mop brushes. I've got a large one here. This is a number 20 round mop and it's very soft, nice and poofy and I'm just gonna start and you see how I'm getting some of that paint thinner right here I'm sort of taking some of that off lifting it off very gently so that it looks really really soft and sort of misty back there already now see here I don't know if you guys can see but there's a little hair that came off of my brush so I'll show you guys how to get rid of those. You just need um, well, any, any little brush. So I would just grab this one and you very lightly just want to push off and grab it. Now these ones have lasted me a very long time. And I believe these are the Artist, Artist Loft. And I haven't had any problems with these ones. I've had them for years. And I just got these from Michaels. Oh, this is working really well. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it like that. I've got my number 11 here, flat brush. You can use any size flat brush that you want. This one's just really handy. I'm going to get it a little bit wet. Again, it's not dripping. You just want enough water to moisten all those bristles. And I'm going to take a little bit more off right in here. Because we've got these trees that are going to be coming up here, so if it helps. And this, this helps me. I'm just going to pull some lines in like this as a guide so I know the width that I want. I'm just going to bring them down a little bit lower. This is going to be a bit narrower in here. And then we'll start to make it a little bit rounded. So just pulling the brush like this. Now I've got a towel right by me where whenever I'm pulling the paint off, like that, I'm wiping the excess off. So we're going to have some nice warm highlights here on this road. 
So I'm just gonna pull this paint off. I'm actually gonna use my right hand now. I use mainly my left hand for painting, um, but I switch. I can switch back and forth if I need to and for filming purposes. So I'm just gonna scumble, pushing off in little patches here because where the leaves and the branches are, the light will be coming through and it'll create kind of little patchy shadows. And then right here, along the bottom, we'll pull some more off. Right at the base here. So you don't have to take all of the paint off. You see how we still have a thin layer? So we still have a nice gold peachy tone in here. I'm going to sort of bring it up on an angle a little bit where it comes up the tree trunk, the base of the tree trunk here and we'll have some big big old trees here and just by doing this look how the light that we've built up quite quickly I just want to show you guys all these little tips and tricks to make your painting process easier, save you time, that guessing game, all that frustration. These are little shortcuts that I've learned from over my 20 plus years of uh, becoming a self-taught artist. So wherever I'm going to have really bright light, down here on the bottom and just a few little areas along here. I'll just scumble off a little bit more, take off a little bit more of that paint. Okay, so now I want to come in with my next layer of color. I'm going to come in with my, so we've got the gold, we've got the orange, and now I'm going to come in with some of my burnt sienna. So I've got burnt sienna here, and I'm going to use a very light, kind of thin layer of this, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to squeeze, I've got some cobalt blue there for later, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out like that, and use another one of my round mop brushes. This is larger size. You can use, you really can use any size you want. It's just about getting that texture and coverage. So I'm going to get my brush a little bit wet so it's not dripping. Tap in. I don't want to lighten it with the white. That won't make the right color. Okay, so it's a little bit, a little bit thinned out. See how it's kind of see-through there? So I'm really lightly going to think about where I'm going to have some shadows. So I'm going to tap, twist, and turn like I'm doing a little, little dance with my brush. And in here. And then I'm going to wipe the excess off on a towel. Start doing this a little bit quicker now. Now that I've got a good feel for this brush. I'll come in from the other side, the top here. Okay, so 
So now I'm going to go back to my filbert brush. Clean, dry filbert brush. Just a little bit damp, I guess, from the water and just washing it. Take a little bit. See how thinned out that is? Very small amount. And I'm going to lightly, very lightly pull into this gold. It's really subtle. Just got a little bit more shadow across here. Now as this uh, dries a little bit more, I'll be able to add more of my shadows. More shadow color. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, magenta and that cobalt. And I'm going to start coming in with my trees now. So I'm going to take quite a bit more of this burnt sienna, a thicker amount, and start. So they're going all the way up to the top. So we'll start right in here. They're going to be a little bit faded as they get further away. Now we can dry brush over with some white, watered down white or tinted white. We'll see later on just to put those more in the distance and make them softer. Everything uh, in the distance should be a little bit less detailed and softer. Let's add some on this side. Some of them will have a slight lean to them like this. And we're going to be coming over with some branches. Okay guys, so let's just continue with these trees. They're going to get a little skinnier here towards the left side of the canvas. And I'm going to set them back a little bit behind that big one. So these ones are going to be not really in the distance, but uh, not quite in the foreground either. So we're going to bring them and pull them up to the top of the canvas. Nice and skinny ones. And then we're going to switch over to the right side and continue over there with our two to three largest trees. Now this time, when I add this one here, I'm going to start incorporating some of my cobalt blue. Or ultramarine blue, whatever. They're really similar. Turn my brush, see how much paint I have on it? Quite a bit there to work with. Turn my brush like this. And just start painting down that way. So you get a little bit of texture. Okay, I'm going to add some more. We'll add another one right here. a little bit more blue this time. It's really fun to use blues and purples with orange. Very complimentary. So I'll just pick up a little bit of white and I'll show you guys how pretty this is going to look together with the blue. See that? Instant glow. here, a little bit on this side. I'm going to come in with a liner brush now. So I'm going to use this little guy right here. Um, I don't know what number it is, but 
uh, any small liner brush, any liner brush of your choice actually. Now that was dry, I got it wet and it's nice and tight and comes to a point at the end right here so it's easy to pull and create some little branches. I'm going to take my burnt sienna, really water it down here. And I'm going to pull right off of that blue, bring it over, again, push, wiggle, let off, and we'll bring some from this side as well. Now it's very easy to make thicker ones. I'm going to push at the tree where it's growing out of to make it a little bit thicker, and then I start to let off and wiggle. They're going to be thinner on the end. Most of these are going to be covered up with leaves anyways, but just to show you guys. Then I'm going to have some darker, thicker branches here. So I'm going to go back to my cobalt, burnt sienna. Less water this time. Create a nice deep shadow in here and at the base here, the way up I have a little bit more blue there. Back to my white and my blue mixture. Hold it this way, barely touching the canvas. Lightly pull up and flick. We'll add another bit of a glow to this one here. And maybe we'll just maybe we'll just add another one in here, making it look like it's really, really far away. Another pair of trees. I'm gonna switch over to my filbert brush to finish these ones off. Take a little bit of that paint off, it's a bit too dark. Start adding a little bit of that blue down here for the shadows. At the tree line and tap a little bit back here. A nice little blue shadow and some little bushes right back there. We'll just continue with our little patchy shadows here that we have towards us in the foreground.
Okay, now what I want to do is come in with some of my Quinacridone Blue Violet. I'm going to layer that up on some of the blue and we're going to create a beautiful shade of purple. Wash my brush out. Dry it off. I'm going to take some of that beautiful Quinacridone. Mix it with the blue and the white. You get a deep smoky plum. You want a little bit more on the magenta or quinacridone side. Just take a little bit more. It's a pretty, very pretty color. Okay, I'm going to start pulling up on this side. when you want it to be a little bit deeper and just use less white so took quite a bit of my quinacridone violet here blue violet and I'm going to lightly brush over Such pretty tones and shades. We'll tap a little bit in here. Put some little bushes. Wash my brush off, and then I'm going to go back to my liner. Take some of that purple. Violet color. Mix it up with a bit of that blue. And we'll start adding little bits, little hints of this color. Maybe we'll have some in here. We can add some more of the thicker amounts like this. And here at the base. So I want to add a little bit more of a, a gold highlight to the path now, where the sun's hitting it. I'm going to take my gold again and mix it with some of the white. Whoops. A little bit more came out than I was wanting. Okay, I'm going to take my gold, a little bit of white, mix the two together, and scoop it on the tip of my brush. I'm going to go right down in here, pull it across, and up. Slightly up like that. Now if you pick up a little bit of blue, purpley blue like I just did, you want to wipe the excess off on a towel. You want to load your brush up again. Be generous with your gold. It's going to just look really beautiful whenever the light hits it or from any angle you'll have a really pretty shimmer. I love working with metallics. I mean, wherever we have these highlights, especially right here on the bottom. Okay, 
going to tap a little bit right in here. I'm just going to start tapping lightly, picking up a bit of that blue, whatever is wet on these trees. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and start tapping. A little bit of burnt sienna there. Just tap some of those colors out. go back for that beautiful orange color that we used. It's so right here. You can add a little bit of that as well with the gold. Some little leaves. Thick leaves. So you're going to have a texture when they dry. Turn my hand over like this, and we're just going to start tapping to build up some of the foliage there. So we'll take both gold and that orange. Bring it down here. Lightly pull. Take those colors again and tap, tap, tap. Sometimes using the edge like this. So this is just another way of using your filbert brush if you haven't thought of this or tried it before. Okay, so those are some of the background leaves and I'm gonna come in with a fan brush. I'm gonna have a few different fan brushes I'll be using today. So I've got this large one here, it's a number eight and it's a Dugat brand. Now I'm going to apply some of my neon red. Quite a bit there. It's always a fun color to use. Now if I pick up, I put it with that um, iridescent orange. So you can have multi-tones going on. Okay, so it's quite thick. And I'm going to come in. Wait. I think I should switch over to this hand so you guys can see a little bit better. No, nope, maybe I'll do this. Start tapping in. my brush different ways. See how it's uh, picking up some of those darker colors naturally giving us some shadows. Shadows on those leaves and little branches. Picked up a little bit too much brown there so I'm going to wash my brush out. For a little bit more my orange here and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to squeeze out some more of my orange while I have a little bit of shadow 
on here from picking up those purples and blues. I'm going to add it right here at the base of this tree. I'm going to pick up even a little bit more of my blue and my magenta violet quinacridone. I'm going to get another fan brush that's clean and dry. This one's larger. We've got a few larger branches that come out here. So I just put it right, squeeze the paint out right onto my fan brush. And I'm going to start applying that nice, beautiful, bright color back here. Very thick. Nice and thick. You're going to use a lot of paint for this. And we'll tap some more in here. Just building up these beautiful layers of leaves. I'm purposely going over some of these tree trunks. I know they're wet, but I need a little bit more shadow in here before I add my bright highlights. You can pull to get that line again, that tree trunk, just by turning your brush and using the corner of it like that. And layer as much as you want, guys. And scum a little bit in here for a bit more of a, a little bit more of a shadow. Create a little bit more dramatic light and dark and light and shadow over here. Now I've got a number six. And I don't have quite as much on my brush as I did up there, but I'm going to... Maybe these leaves are probably falling, right? And they've landed down here. So we've got a little bit down at the base of the trees, a little bit falling on the road. And let's go ahead and do the same over here. Very light layers. If you push too hard, you're just pushing that paint off. We've got some glowing neon flowers back. Or flowers. <laughs> Leaves back here. And some in here as well. Okay, for our next color, I'm going to take my gold and titanium white. Be quite generous. And I'm going to start out here. You could use yellow ochre too, that would be really nice. In fact, let's do that. I think I'll get out my yellow ochre and we'll, we'll add a little bit of that. Here we go. Yellow ochre by Artiza. Yellow ochre looks really nice with a lot of colors. Gonna 
little bits here on the corner. Very thick paint. Reloading my brush. Then we can also use a combination of the neon red with the yellow ochre, and that will look pretty too. So I'm going to come in here, have some branches that are hanging down, and then they kind of curve out like this. Not as much light over on this side, but I just want to add a little bit of this beautiful yellow ochre that's got a really gold feel to it. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is come through with a little bit more of our tree trunks. I want to go over some of them. I've got a round brush here. It's a number six. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take my blue and that violet again. It's really deep and dark and rich. And I'm going to go over. I don't really want that one coming in front of this tree. I want to bring this back a little bit more. Maybe just add some darker. So I'm just going to scoop it up like this and add some darker leaves. I'm just going to tap. I know this is going to dry a bit darker. There we go. Shadow back here. Clean brush, back to my gold and white.
I'm just going to add a few little dabs of light behind here a little bit. Same color, the gold and the white. few more branches and then this will be all done. such a fun painting. I love this color palette. Just taking a bit of my quinacridone violet, blue violet here with some white. And a few more branches. I just want to soften this a little bit, make it look further away. Branches are just a little bit too dark. I'm very tempted to use some scarlet red, but I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Though I do want to add a little bit. I always say I'm almost done, don't I? And then I go back for more. But I want to add a little bit more of that blue, so cobalt blue or ultramarine blue mixed with white. I just want to create, see, that looks, that looks so pretty. Just a, another bit of glow. I want to create that feeling that fall has, and it really is a glow. It's a beautiful, beautiful season and I'm quite looking forward to it we've had a really really hot summer and yeah so I'm looking forward to it a little lining in between those trees for a little bit of a shadow Still need a little, I need the right shade of purple. I've got to find the right shade of purple here, so let's see if I can find. Got this one here. That looks quite nice. Let's try some of that. I also really want a brighter magenta. 
Well, I can't find my magenta right now, but I've got this light purple, so I'm going to add a little bit of that. Our shadows here. So pretty. on this tree here. And little dabs of it over here. Shadows. the tree trunks, having a little bit more blue. Okay, I'm, I think I am all finished with this one. And if I would add anything else, it would be some beautiful magenta. I don't know what I did with it. Oh wait, I found it. I just found it. Okay, this is called Violet actually, but it's a really, really, really nice magenta. It's a lot, it's brighter than the other one. I'm just going to take a little bit of this put it right on my brush. If you guys can see that. And some right in here. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Some up here, all these little colorful accents. Layers and layers are what built up a really special painting. Fall is such a colorful time of year that you can have a lot of fun with your colors. It's really enjoyable to paint this one. I'm so glad I got to share this with you guys. And I hope you subscribe to my channel for more. Give this video a like. And I want to wish you guys happy painting. And I'll see you next time really soon in another video. So bye for now.